Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Trekking California with Velox 18. I'm here in Brawley, California. Just woke up and uh, still a little breezy out here. Still a little breezy. And uh, man, I slept good. It's nice sleeping at a truck stop on a Friday night, Saturday morning. There's just not a lot of action like there normally is. It's not coming and going and going and coming all night long. It's like, uh, you know, just there's movement here and there, but it's not, uh, I don't know. I slept good. I slept, I slept straight through. So that, if that tells you anything, uh, I, I slept straight through the night and didn't wake up, uh, but, but only once to use the potty. So, uh, to use the Gatorade bottle, but uh, all right, I'm going to get out of the road. Uh, let's roll the music. Taking off from this pilot, we've got two whole miles to go before we get to the shipper. Uh, it's a Saturday morning, so it's uh, easy driving out here. Not not a lot of traffic. Uh, it's a little after eight. I was told they load between eight and noon, so I was gonna be there right at eight. And then, uh, man, I, I was sleeping so good this morning. I just, I just kept sleeping, man. It's one of those things where you, like, I, I, I set my alarm for, uh, for seven, and then turned it off, and I just laid there, like awake, but just comfortable, and like I had gotten a full night's sleep. It was crazy. It was. It, I don't often have the luxury of waking up like that in the truck. Usually you set your alarm, you wake up, you go. Because you gotta go to the next place. But I knew this place had a, a, a pickup window. Uh, and I also know, you know, that I, that means I might be behind some guys because it is first come, first serve. They might all be lined up over there uh, waiting for them to open. But it's just what I decided to do today, all right? Just how the crook cookie crumbles. So we'll just go through go through town right here. My GPS is telling me to take like to like jog over through neighborhoods because that's the fastest way to go. Now, obviously, I have a brain, and I know that that's not the way that I should go. So I'm gonna go down here to uh, this more of a, uh, a highway right-hand turn. And that's the one we're gonna take. All right, and this time, the truck entrance was before the, uh, the address, the street address. I was driving by and it listed off all these, uh, all these, um, uh, I think that's the security guy right there. That's crazy. He was hopping. He was hopping railroad tracks and stuff. And I just was like, "Oh, come on in, bro. Come on in." But uh, anyway, so I was, I was gonna come around the other way, but then there was a sign that said, "Truck entrance here." Ah. Oh. This guy just, this guy just uh, swooped in here from somewhere. I didn't see where he came from. This is one of those places where I bet guys come here all the time. They know the deal. They know what's up. They know where they're going. They know what door to go to. They're just already, already in the game. But, um, uh, yeah, I don't know which, uh, which cooler I'm supposed to go to. I'll go I'll get out and go check it out. Alright. So I asked that guy, I said, hey, the sign over here says prime cooling truck entrance. So do we do we keep going around or is this prime cooling? Or is that other one prime cooling? Because there's a couple different cold storages right here. And I'm like, that sign tells me we should keep going. So I just asked him, he said, I'm not sure this is my first time here, so. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just walk over here instead of, I mean, it says truck entrance. I'm pretty sure we're good, but it's kind of like give him a chance to, uh, to figure it out too. So maybe they do this whole roundabout truck entrance thing to line you up with the dock. And maybe it's so that when it's first come first serve, they can, uh, they can put you, um, they can, they can put, put everyone in line. All right, let's see. So this truck's parked inside red lines. Yeah, I don't mind walking anyway. I could have drove. Could have drove. That's not a big deal. Okay, check-ins all the way over there. Yeah, so all all of these are. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go back and drive. There's a bunch of parking back here. And then they'll assign me one of those. So all those coolers are prime cooling. So I don't got to worry about trying to line up for the right dock or anything like that. You just circle back around from there. That's where that one dude came from. I don't know if you guys saw him in the screen, but this one dude came flying around the corner to get in his dock. But that's what it was, so. I think this guy... Um, this guy got information from another driver, from the other driver that he wait. He was, I think he was waiting for him to come out of the cooler so he could talk to him. So he talked to him. Yeah, he pointed and said he's going that way, and I gave him a thumbs up. And we're figuring it out, man. Two rookies picking up at Prime Cooling in Brawley for the first time knocking this thing out i like it i like that there's not a huge line of trucks here on a saturday morning i don't think it'll take too long i don't think it'll take too long at all let's do this all right so uh part of my part of my thinking of uh going and walking up was giving that guy the chance to uh figure it out for himself and pull up and if not I could walk back and tell him hey go this way and then he could stay in front of me because uh, you know I'm not I'm not all about trying to uh, come in first place man really not I mean I'm gonna be trying to get home today so today's my get home day so if there was a day where I, I would might start to get in a hurry it would be today but I kind of like uh, I kind of like chilling man I kind of like uh, not not worrying too much about stuff if you guys um, ever talked to me on the phone when I was uh, doing the sulfur stuff then uh, oh he's walking the wrong way check-ins over here it says driver check-in driver check-in all right i'll go get him uh but anyway i used to be in a hurry all the time and i was just always rush 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 i was in that little in the little race man always trying to win the race it's stressful it give me a heart attack trying to shave 10 minutes off my night 30 minutes off my night it's just not that not that worth it Maybe they, maybe they don't check in there on Saturdays. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if he goes somewhere or if he comes back. All right. Um, we're going to wait for them to call us. I was a nice guy. And I showed that guy where to go and told him where he checks in. And then he said, well, you guys are probably going to be in the same dock. So you'll wait for him to get loaded. <laughs> there it is, right? But... Hey, like I said, I'm not in a hurry, and uh, that's why some guys race around and try and be first, because they don't want to wait for one guy to get loaded, but I think it's going to be pretty quick, so. Who's this? All right, we uh, are headed to door number nine. 
And uh, yeah, the dude who was walking up, he's a subscriber I ran into over there uh, at Costco in Mira Loma uh, a few months back. And so he came up to say what's up. He's changing out a, a sensor right now on his truck. And uh, he had that pretty dog. <laughs> he's all, he's all honk. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we got talking. He, he lives up near me uh, and lives up there in Tracy. So he's a, he's a cool dude. Cool dude. And uh, passed the time really good because it actually took a while for me to get assigned a door. Because uh, I was a nice guy and I let that other guy go in front of me when I could have passed him. Uh, it's all good though. It is um, almost 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. and we're getting the door. Uh, it shouldn't take too long for them to load us and we'll, we should be out of here, uh, I think by like 11. That's my guess. Maybe I'm optimistic, but maybe, maybe I'm just realistic. Uh-huh. Bag it up, bag it in. Let me begin. Man, so there's some of these places where the uh, where the door, the the pad you want to be on that you want to back up to, is right on the line. Your uh, line on the ground. You want your you want your trailer tire to be on the line, and then there's some where you want to be in between the lines. And then so sometimes I get I get a little mixed up. Like I'm uh, I'll put my tire on the line, and then I realize oh man that. I, I needed it not to be on the line. I needed it to be next to the line or inside the line this time. You know, like, it's just kind of the, the way it is. But the last few docks I backed up to, I needed it to be on the line. But this time, not so much. You need to be inside of it. All right, I'm going to go and open the doors and we'll get loaded up. All right, they called me and told me to come inside the building. They're done loading me. Let's see. Friend, how's it going? Looks good. That's where having a, a pulp thermometer and taking a pulp test to make sure that's what uh, Cassius King is, uh, has been talking about. I watched a couple videos of his um, yesterday and yeah, he's always talking about if you're gonna do produce, you better buy a dang pulp thermometer. And uh, anyway, so that's where you go in, you inspect the load and you see, make sure they loaded it properly, make sure it's all good. Uh, it's not a heavy load. He said so uh, we should be good to go so I just gotta go back over there and get my paperwork go over here and get our paperwork Gordo Velox! El Gordo Velox! Alright, it's time for uh, some El Gordo Velox over here with El Jumping Bean. I don't know what that means. Or maybe I should call it, hey, maybe I should call it, can I, is that even, are we in there? The Frijolito. Maybe, no, we should, maybe we should call it Los Gordos. Los Gordos? Yeah, we can say Los Gordos. <laughs> We look just like him. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. You guys see that one? The more dangerous the neighborhood, the better the tacos. I think that's true. I know when I lived in the ghetto, that was true. That was that was where it was at. All right, let's see this thing. Here it comes. That's it right there. That's a shot. That's a shot right there. Right there. Sauce. What in the crap? That's bad, bro. bro. I made him cut it in half because I need this guy to help me eat it. But he's got yeah, a whole man. other he's got a whole the other burrito coming too. Hachiro. 
Machirro burrito. <laughs> Oh my hey, goodness. Honestly, I, I don't even know. Yeah, it's yeah, a burrito yeah. inside of a torta. When he said that, I didn't know what to expect. Is there Cheetos in it? Just Takis in there, bro. Is that or is that, uh, I think that's, um, I think that's Apple Store or something, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what Caesar gets all the time. All right, I gotta I got try and eat this. I don't know how, but I'm gonna try and eat it. You, you tell me, bro. All right, you're, you're in. Oh, that's all gosh. you, baby. Oh my Get God. it. Yes, the carnage, bro. That's all you. Uh, it's on camera, bro. <laughs> that's all you, bro. Dang, that's wild. I just mean, oh, Every bite, bro. That's crazy. Look at this one. The hot chiro. It's cool. We gotta crack it up. Alright. Dang, that lunch was good and huge. And uh, I was hanging out with my buddy Philip. He, uh,. He, uh, he's from up there. Well, I, already, I already told you guys about him. So anyway, Philip, thank you for lunch. It was cool hanging out with you. I wish your dog could have come inside because your dog's a cool dog. He's a good dog, man. Uh, but anyway, now we're uh, we're gonna we're at caravan out of here, and uh, we're gonna get get headed northbound. Get headed up there so we can uh, try to. Try to make it home tonight, man. Try to make it home tonight. I think he's got to go straight to his delivery, but I don't deliver until Monday morning, so I'm going to try and make it home and uh, go to church in the morning and stuff. So that's the plan for me. Uh, I'm just going to get rolling down this road. We're trying to get through the town of Raleigh and uh, make it to uh, up there through Indio and it's the Coachella Music Festival right now, so we may hit some traffic, I don't know. Last time we went through there at like 1 in the morning or 2 in the morning, so we didn't hit anything. But we might hit some today. Uh, uh, you know what? Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. And so uh, well, let's, let's go trucking. Let's go.
9.15, I made it back to the yard, man. Made it back to the yard, it's 9.15. I'm gonna go home, see my family, get some sleep, go to church in the morning, hang out all day tomorrow at the house. I might even barbecue, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, it kinda just depends, man. Kinda just depends on the weather and how I'm feeling, if I get enough sleep tonight. I know I got good sleep last night at the truck stop. Uh, I was right by the entrance of that place and it didn't matter. I, there wasn't there wasn't that much action going on there and I just slept like a baby, man. All right, but uh, anyway, um, so that's what's going on for tomorrow. I was gonna wait and like string this video across the whole weekend and then show the delivery of this load on Monday morning. But I figured, you know what? We'll let Monday be Monday, man. That's gonna be a different video. We're gonna end this video right here. I know it's probably gonna be shorter than my normal videos, but that's okay because my videos are kind of too long anyway. <laughs> so, all right, this is where we're gonna cut it off. Love you guys, peace out. See you when we deliver this load on Monday morning. And the video will be out sometime Tuesday, or unless I get delayed, then it might be Wednesday. I don't know, you never know. But I'm, I'll see you guys when we deliver this load. This load, right here. It's gonna be delivered Monday morning. We're going to leave here at the butt crack of dawn, though, because it's got a 5.30 appointment two hours away. So, uh, yeah. We're not going to quite get a 34-hour reset in because it's 9 o'clock now. We're going to be leaving here at, like, 3 o'clock. I can't do the math right now, but it's not It's not 34. But we got plenty of hours. Not worried about that. Not worried about that at all. See you guys on the next one. I'm moving to Tennessee, right? Everyone keeps talking about, oh, tornadoes, you're going to hate tornadoes. Oh yeah, well look at that. You guys see that dirt devil right there? That might as well be a tornado. The thing is gnarly. Come get some, dirt devil. Come get some, dustnado. Alright. showed you guys what it's like to be in a California tornado. <laughs>